Hello everybody, it's Uncle Matt and I'm here to read you another bedtime story. And tonight's bedtime story is Get Me Another One by Robert Munch and illustrated by Mike Bolt. And this story was copyright in... Uh, copyright in 1992 and revised in 2014. Here we go. Christy sat at the end of the dock and yelled to her father, Daddy, I want to go fishing in a boat. Everybody else in Rocky Harbor goes fishing in a boat. Her father yelled back, You are just a little kid. You are one of the littlest kids I know, and you would probably fall into the ocean. But Christy said, No, no, I'm willing to hang on. I'll hang on. I'll uh, wear a life jacket. I'll uh, be very careful. Her father thought for a while and said, Ah, uh, okay. Christy was having a wonderful time out on the ocean, but then it started to get windy. And the boat went up and down like this. La, 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 la. Christy said, I don't feel so good. And her father said, uh-oh. Then it got windier and the waves got bigger and the boat went up and down like this. La, 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 la. Christy said, I feel sick. Yikes, said her father. Then it got really windy and the waves got really big and the boat went up and down like this. La, 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 la. Christy said, Daddy, I think I'm going to throw up. Acting. Okay. Oh no, said her father, not in my clean boat. If you're gonna throw up, throw up over the side. So Christy leaned over the side of the boat. A big wave came and she fell right into the ocean. Oh no, yelled Christy's father. He turned the boat around and went back to get Christy. He grabbed her out by the collar and pulled as hard as he could, but he could not lift her out of the water. He said, Christy, you're just a little kid. Why can't I get you into the boat? Well, said Christy, I have a hold of the tail of an enormous fish. Good, said her father. Keep a hold of that fish. He took the hook off the fishing line and tied the line to Christy's ear. Ooh. Then he pulled as hard as he could, and Christy came flying into the boat. She was holding a codfish that was two meters long. Two meters. Look at this fish, said Christy. It's fantastic. It's incredible, said her father. You're great at fishing. Let's take it home and show it to Mummy, said Christy. Wait, said her father. We've only caught one fish. We should get more. Sure, said Christy. I love fishing. So her father said, then go get me another one. And he picked up Christy and threw her back into the ocean. Oh, dear. Christy swam around and around and then dove under the water. She came up again and said, I got a fish, I got a fish, I got a fish. Christy's father tied the line to her ear and pulled as hard as he could, but he could not get Christy into the boat.
Christy, said her father, what kind of fish have you got? Well, said Christy, I think it's a whale. Yikes, said her father. He looked down in the water and there was a whale. It was much, much longer than the boat. Christy, said her father, let's go, let go of the whale. But it's a nice little whale, said Christy. I want to take it home and show it to Mummy. Christy said her father, please let go of the whale. So Christy let go of the whale and her father took the boat back to Rocky Harbor. Christy's mother was waiting on the dock. Christy said, look, look, I fell in the ocean and caught this fish. Daddy threw me back in to catch another one, but it got away. Her mother said, your father took you fishing? Yes, said Christy. Her mother said, you fell overboard? Yes, said Christy. Her mother said, your father threw you back in the ocean? Yes, said Christy. I love fishing. Christy's mother looked at her father and said, you threw her back in the ocean? Yes, said her father. Her mother yelled, why? Well, said her father, she caught the biggest fish I've ever seen, so I threw her back in to get me another. Right, said Christy. If fish are so important, why don't you go get another one yourself? And she pushed, oh, she picked up Christy's father, must be a bodybuilder, and threw him in the ocean. Then, Christy and her mother had a big fish dinner and invited everyone in town. And the next day, everybody went fishing. The end. Well, that's all the time we have for Uncle Matt's bedtime story. I hope you enjoyed that story, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.